So this is the vector system that we use in consultations and we can help or trying to help the patients understanding more about the surgery. I think that the, one of the most difficult part for the patients is to foresee how they're gonna look, what is reasonable and what, what can they expect. So uh, the vector system help us to modify the images in real person and un for them and to show them how to really understand. Uh, and we have a, a case here in which, uh, for example, one of the important things is to say your neck. You know, you start developing the what is called platysma, the muscle contraction in here, and you start losing the sharpness in your neck. So we can modify a little bit of the angle on the neck and modify that with a computer after we have seen physically the patient and we can, so they have a visual idea as to what is happening as well. And as we were saying, at the same time, we can use the Vectra to uh, explore or, you know, besides the fact that we could show the, the changes surgically, also the quality of the skin. So we can take images then it will show all the uh, sun damage and all the flaws in the skin has, and the dermatologist also can use that uh, to explain how do we gonna improve not only the surgery or the surgical parts of the patient, one like the nasal labia hole, the neck, but also the quality of the skin if we can erase all this damage and flaws that we have in the skin. So we can change the the position or modify it and, under, and the patients will understand uh, more specifically what can they expect about the surgery.